Hi folks, Damon here. Today I want to talk to you about connecting to different meta stores using EMR on EKS. So when you're running your EMR and EKS jobs, you might just connect to data on S3, or you might connect to a data in a different database or something like that. But what is also very, very common is connecting to different meta stores. So you may have a pre-existing Hive meta store using uh, MySQL or, R or Postgres, or you may be connecting to the Glue data catalog in AWS as well. So I'll show you how to do both of those two configurations. And for this demo today, what I'm going to do is I'll use the EMR containers best practice guide. This is on GitHub, and it's a really great guide that shows you all different sample commands and how to configure and run EMR on EKS. So uh, I'll use that guide and let's let's get started. So I've already got a Hive Metastore set up. It's MySQL running on RDS and I loaded just a sample uh, schema in there. So if I run through and I do a show databases, you can see I've just got the default database. And what I'm doing is I'm using the Rapid7 open uh, data set of FDNS queries. So this shows you a bunch of DNS queries for different domains and subdomains that are accessible with those. If I do a quick uh, query of that table, you can see those are the sample domains and the values associated with those domains as well. So that's the data that I've got on my RDS Metastore. I've also got a Glue data catalog that I've spun up to. So I've got a data lake that I'm building for my own personal use. And if I click into there and view the tables in there, you can see I've got a YouTube and a GitHub uh, table where I'm tracking different statistics related to my activity there. So you can see on YouTube, I've got um, the video ID, content details, and in the statistics, I can see things like view count and like count. So let's see how to query both the Hive Metastore and the Glue Data Catalog. On the Hive side, there's a couple prerequisites. One, I've got the data stored in RDS, and I've got all my database configuration information stored in Secrets Manager. So on my command line, I'm going to pull that out into a bunch of different environment variables and build my database connection URL from those environment variables. I also have to download a client driver. So I'm going to download the uh, MariaDB Java client jar and upload that into an artifacts bucket on S3. And then it's just about running the code. So I'm going to use the um, EMR containers AWS CLI command to go ahead and start this job run. I specify my virtual cluster, the name of the job, the role for the job, and the release of EMR. Now the thing to pay attention here to is the Spark submit parameters. So this is where I configure the connection to the Hive Metastore. So I specify my jar location, that's the MariaDB Java client jar, and then I specify all the different connection details like the driver name, the username, the password, and the RDS string. And then the rest of it is just standard Spark submit configuration. So the number of cores, executors, all that kind of stuff. Finally, I'm also going to configure this to log to CloudWatch so we can keep an eye on what's going on with that job. So I'm going to go ahead, just start this job in the background. Great. On the glue side, it's a little bit different. We're going to use very similar start job run command. We're just going to specify a different entry point, and then we remove all the RDS and Hive Metastore configuration from Spark Submit. So it's just the number of driver cores and executor cores. And then on the glue side, what we do is we override this Spark defaults configuration. So in EMR, enable to get, in order to connect to the glue data catalog, there's just a checkbox in the console. Well, this is uh, essentially what that checkbox does. It just overrides the Hive Metastore client factory class with a glue specific one. So that's all that one does. And I'm going to log this out to CloudWatch as well. So let me go ahead and start that. Great. Now the code for both of these is just some simple query code. So on the Hive side, we're just doing a show databases, a count star from that Rapid7 DNS, and then a bigger query that'll take a little bit longer to run. On the glue side, again, we're just doing a show databases, and then I'm going to do a quick query that actually shows me um, how many views and likes I have on my videos. So what does this actually look like in the console? Let's switch back to my EMR console. So I've got my virtual cluster here, and you can see I've got two jobs. I've got my Hive job that's running right now, and my glue job that's submitted. So if I go over to CloudWatch, what we'll see if I refresh is we should, should see a couple streams here. So I've got a glue stream that is starting up. There's my Spark driver and the standard error, and my Hive stream right there, and the Spark driver standard out from that. So if I click here and a standard out, we should see the information that I'm querying. There's my list of databases, so that's just the default database. Here's my count star, and that shows, oops, and that shows about 10 billion records in that database. So kind of a big, uh, big data set there. What just popped up there was my Spark history server, so I launched that from the EMR console. And here I can log in and kind of see what's going on with that Hive job. So the second query is a little bit longer running, and I can click in here and I can see what's going on with that job and you know what's happening. So you can see there's a bunch of different tasks there, and those are all going and, and doing their thing, right? So that's connecting to the Metastore and then querying the data on S3. 
Now let's see what happened on the glue side. I'll go back to my CloudWatch logs and let me refresh and I should have a glue standard out now. I do, so there's my glue and standard out for the driver. So I'll click that. Here again, we can see our database listing. There's uh, Damon's data lake. And then here's the output of my query. So this is one of the videos that I recorded. Uh, it's got a few views, which is pretty awesome. I hope this video gets uh, as many views as that does. And that is really how easy it is to switch between different data catalogs when you're using EMR on EKS. A lot of the configuration is just done uh, when you submit that job. I should note in the on the Hive side here, of course, on the Hive Metastore side, you might not always want your password uh, passed via that command line argument. And so what you can do is you could actually put this in your Spark code as well, but just for the ease of this demo, I put it into the Spark submit parameters there. So that is querying a Hive Metastore and a Glue Data Catalog with EMR on EKS.